Hey everybody, it's Deanna, and today I wanted to check out the Rubel Museum in D.C. I've heard about it before. I saw it featured in an episode of WETA Arts, and I saw Fida Malik do a video about it as well. And I wanted to check it out for myself, and I did just that. I am on their website now on the visitor section and it shows their hours, their address, and here's the admission information. Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays are pay what you wish and it is free for DC residents with an ID, free for military members, free for EBT card holders. And I do like that because it helps to make museums and art more accessible to people. And it's also, they also have um, free um, admission for those with disabilities. And for those like me who aren't DC residents, we can pay what we wish on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. And on Saturday and Sunday, there is a fee. And heads up, they accept electronic payments, so make sure you have your card on you. Okay, so this is it. This is the Rubel Museum. I'm going to go in and I'm going to check it out and see what they have going on. Okay, I have paid my mission. I received my Rubel Museum <laughs> sticker for proof of purchase, and I am ready to tour the gallery. This one is called Mondo Carne by Alexandre Jope. And um, I read the description and it said that the characters are fighting each other. But the way I'm seeing it, it looks like the characters are standing in a circle and holding hands. I'm not seeing the carnage that was described in the um, art, the art description. It's very interesting how art can have different interpretations depending on who is looking at it and what they see in it. I see some imagery that looks like skulls and skeletons, like the top left corner, but the just the, just the, how everything is laid out in this, it looks like they're holding hands and in a circle. Very interesting. This has the works of Nicolene Thomas, and I'm a fan of hers. She has something in the, um, one of the Smithsonian art galleries, and these ones are new to me. This one is really interesting. I, not only am I seeing the rhinestones, but paying closer, or as close as I can without getting too close. <laughs> um, I can see detailing in the, um, I can see like, looks like she took and she scraped and etched into it as well. And 
know if you guys did not catch the painting. That's called the power of Zoom. <laughs> And the name of this one's called Feels Like Making Love. And the character in this one. Oh, now I'm saying two different people. First of all, the person was with myself. This is interesting. And it looks like they're in a wrestling position. The Rubel Museum has very diverse art and I liked how it focused on a lot of black and brown artists and another thing I liked about the museum is that the art descriptions had quotes from the artists themselves and I don't often see that in galleries it's usually something written up by some art scholar so it was very neat to see the focus be put directly on the artist. And the artist got the opportunity to tell what they were trying to convey with their pieces of art. This is a really neat gallery. I like how it's, it's spacious enough. I can walk through easily. There are tourists here. <laughs> and it's very airy too. And it's mostly quiet. I think I'm the loudest person here doing my narration. <laughs> I, I definitely, I definitely recommend this place. This is really, really neat. And I like how they have a pay what you can system on certain days. Definitely check this place out, people. And don't forget to go into the basement. The basement level has some pretty interesting and pretty out there art. There's definitely a different vibe between the upper levels and the basement level. These are nutcrackers. It said that eating the cracked nuts is encouraged. I'll pass. <laughs> but this is a neat installation. Another thing to note is that food and drink is not allowed in the museum. So be mindful of that. But they do have a drinking fountain. They also gave me a scavenger hunt to do. That was really fun to do, trying to find where all these um, pieces of art were located in the museum. I blurred out my answers because I do not want to make it easy for you. You have to go to the museum yourself and check it out for yourself. I just left the Rubel Museum and I really enjoyed it. It was nice and spacious. I had room to walk around. There were no tourists. It was fairly quiet and relaxing. A very quiet and relaxing experience. And I definitely recommend this to anyone who is interested in a great art museum in DC.